right, YouTube fans, I'm going to uh, give you my first video. Uh, this is the first of many to come on the Ultimate Fishing Attic channel. Uh, I'm going to start out here. I'm going to give you a tour of my uh, boat I fish out of. This is a Pelican Bass Raider 10E. It is 10 foot long. It's a very really stable water boat. We're great for shallow water fishing, pond fishing, lake fishing. Give you a little tour here of it. In the back of the boat, we got two rod holders. Come in really handy when you're carrying four rods on your, on your boat or five. And then I have went ahead and added a couple of uh, rod holders myself, one on each side as you can see there. Uh, these are actually really cheap. You can uh, get these at the dollar store if you have this type of boat. And they're actually a dollar a piece and they're for brooms or tools to be hung up on. And I seen them and thought I could repurpose them and put them on my boat as rod holders. I can hold up to two rods on each side comfortably. And then as you can see I um, added a seven inch pedestal to my seat since I am six foot six so it gets me up higher and I can cast a lot easier by being up in the air higher above the water. I found out that it's a uh, big improvement just adding that seven inch pedestal onto the seat to get me up in the air like that. As you can see I wrapped the bottom uh, supports with just uh, pipe insulation. That uh, really does wonders and on a hot day you don't burn your legs when you're turning in your seat and you don't bang your legs and bruise yourself all up by hitting your seat many times a day. I found that on YouTube it was a tips that somebody had put on there has a boat just like mine it worked really great uh, one of the additions that I'm really excited about is my Lawrence fish finder it is a hook 3x for kayaks or canoes really um, my boat kind of fits the bill it's a small boat I just got it installed. I got the transducer installed underneath there. And, uh, I'm really excited to get out and try it out. I haven't got to try it yet. I just got back from vacation, so I haven't been able to do much fishing. Here the next couple days, I'm going to put it on the water and give it a good try. Um, go back to the back here. That is where I install my trolling motor at, is on the small mount there in the back of the boat. Uh, that would also work for a up to 3.5 horsepower outboard motor, which I do not have. I love to get soon. Uh, then I will move my trolling motor up to the front mount. And uh, then I would have two motors to push me along. When I run the trolling motor on the small lake that I fish on near my house, which is electric motors only, I carry two marine deep cycle batteries which will last me all day. I've never got stranded with two batteries. Um, then I have, I installed, uh, this was another YouTube idea somebody had put on their boat, a uh, small boat like this one. It is a anchor, uh, a four point anchor with a small anchor uh, pulley and lock it comes in really handy in the shallow water that I fish in most of the time. I have it on uh, the rope uh, wound up on an electrical cord uh, reel right now, which I need to replace. I broke it last a uh, couple weeks ago when I was fishing. Then the other feature that I put on this was I just tied me a uh, a tie rope. When I'm pulling into the dock, I can sw I can just undo it and switch it to either handle. We got one on each side. I can switch it to either one to tie my boat to the dock to get in and out or grab stuff out of the truck. And then the other 
handles are here in the back for loading you got one on each side and that way I can uh, pick this up and throw it up in the back of my truck pretty easily um, like I said I generally carry anywhere from four to five rods I have one other rod that's a telescoping more of a travel rod it's a six foot six heavy medium heavy action and I usually just bring it along as a spare in case something happens to a reel or I break a rod and I did that a couple weeks ago so I was pretty excited uh, a couple weeks ago I was able to replace it with this um, Berkeley Cherrywood HD uh, it's a six foot six uh, medium rod I generally throw my uh, square bills on it, um, chatterbaits, um, things like that. I got a square bill tied on right now, a jointed square bill that I'm pretty anxious to try also. And my other rod is this uh, Southwind 6'6 six six medium heavy action rod that I've got my spinning reel on. Um, right now that's really all I have to throw heavier stuff on. I don't have a, another good reel that really will throw heavy stuff so I use a 15 pound monofilament on that spinning rod so it uh, will handle the heavier stuff and the rods uh, like I said a six foot six medium action medium heavy action sorry then I have a couple of other um, spin casting reels and rod combos that I like to use uh, these a lot of guys don't like to use them for bass fishing um, I've been using them since I was a kid so I'm really comfortable with them and really accurate with them um, I've tried, tried bait casters recently pretty frequently and so far I haven't had a lot of luck with them um, I probably need to buy some better quality ones and maybe they would give me a little bit better uh, performance uh, so far I've just pretty much threw them down and went back to using the closed face and my two spinning reels that I have I have a lot more luck with those um, but yeah this little 10 foot boat it uh, it'll hold quite a bit of gear uh, me and my son both get in it and put all of our gear in it and go fishing it's plenty of room I got another seat that goes in it uh, with one person in it, just me I usually position a the seat there in the middle to kind of even out the weight and then I can store stuff under the seat and in the front of the boat and in the back of the boat and still have plenty of foot room but uh, yeah that uh, that's my boat it's a uh, like I said it's a Pelican Bass Raider 10e it's uh, works great for me um, till I can upgrade in the future uh, it, uh, I fish a lot of shallow water, so uh, this boat is great. I can get in up to about six to eight inches of water and still not hit bottom. So that makes it really, um, really good for small ponds and small lakes. Well, that's about it. I'm going to sign off here. Later on this evening, I'm going to try to get in there and do a uh, mystery tackle box unboxing. I just got it in the mail this morning anxious to see what's in there and I want to bring you all along so you can see what's in there too and I'll kind of go over the baits and how we'd use them and what we use them for and we'll see what all's in there this month I'm anxious to get it open and get out on the water in the next couple days and try my new uh, fish finder out and my new uh, baits and tackle from mystery tackle box and I also subscribe to Lucky Tackle Box. Those are monthly subscription uh, boxes that you can get for $25 a month. They are uh, usually got some really good baits and hooks and uh, a nice magazine in each one that tells you a little bit about uh, what's going on around the bass fishing world and uh, articles on how to and tips. So I'll uh, see you all later this evening when I do the uh, Mystery Box Tackle Box unboxing and uh, have a good afternoon.